Hi, I'm Lucy, O.J. Blunt's wife, to demonstrate the description of the new top bar hive with feeder, ventilated feeder cap. The first piece is a 1 fourth inch plywood, 31 inches long and 16 and an eighth inch wide. Add two strips of wood, 31 inches long, one and a half inch thick, and three fourths inch wide. Fasten to the plywood on each side. On the back, put four strips of wood, two at 29 and a half inches long, by three fourths by three fourths, two at 16 and an eighth inch long by three fourths by three fourths, fastened to the bottom of the plywood. Next step is the back door, 14 and a half inches long by two inches by two inches, with the bottom. 14 and a half by one and a half inch by three fourths inch thick with a handle three inches by two inches by one and a half inch placed on the back of the board. The next step for board 14 and 5 eighths by 10 inch by three fourths inch the back of it, nail two strips of wood 14 and a half by 3 fourths by 3 fourths inch to the bottom. Placed at the front. Next step, a strip of wood 16 and an eighth inch by 3 fourths by 3 fourths inch fastened with half inch stables to the 532nd metal screen floor at the back end. Two strips of wood, 28 and a half by 3 fourths by 3 fourths inch, nail the metal screen to the one and a half inch base at each side. On top of the board, the 10, 14, 15, 26 gauge metal, 14 by 10 placed over the board. Underneath the 532nd metal, place a 26 gauge metal, 20 and a half inch by 14 inch for tray trap. To be enclosed by the back door. The next step would be a strip of wood 14 and a half inches by 3 fourths inch by 1 fourth inch nailed to the bottom front of the brood chamber. Add two strips each 5 inch by 3 fourths by 1 fourth inch thick to each end of the 14 and a half inch strip leaving a 5 inch by 1 fourth inch entrance. which fits snugly over the base. Add a board 9 inch by 6 inch by 1 3 fourths inch. Cut diagonally to 4 and a fourth inch by 1 and 3 fourths inch by 9 inch. Placing each piece against the brood chamber leaving the B space 
also a uh, weak hive can defend itself against predators. The next step is four staples to hold up top and bottom together, one on each corner. The ventilated feeder top is a 20 inch by 16 and 1 8 inch by 1 4 inch plywood. Add two strips of wood each 20 inches by 1 and a half inch by 3 4 inch. Drill 1 and 1 4 inch hole 3 inches from each end. Next add two strips of wood 14 and a half by 1 and a half by 3 4 inch at each end enclosing this ventilated feeder top. The underside is enclosed by two strips of wood 20 inch by 3 4 inch by 1 4 inch on each side and 14 and a half by 3 4 by 1 4 on each end giving the feet B space. The next step would be a 18 and a half inch plywood by 4 and a half inch wide by 1 4 inch thick. Fasten to the other the outside plywood with two and seven eighths inch bit drill three holes nine and three fourths inch center and four and a half inch from each end the last step would be three metal window screen 4 inch by 4 inch fastened with half inch staples over the 2 and 7 8 inch holes, leaving the inside of the brood chamber and the ventilated feeder top unpainted for the bees. The finished product will look like this with a roof over the top. They still have their ventilated space. Thank you so much for your attention.